Hey guys, what's up? Brandon here, coming at you with another commentary, and today I've got some Quake live gameplay for you. You know, before QuakeCon, I got into some Quake to try and uh, bone up my skills and make sure I wasn't going to get embarrassed, you know, down there on the BYOC. Um, and since QuakeCon, I've just been enjoying getting back to my Twitch shooter roots. And so even though the gameplay that you see here is from a game that is essentially over 10 years old, uh, I think it's aged very gracefully, and um, if you can't tell by this gameplay, Quake is one of the most fast-paced first-person shooters ever made. Um, and so it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm playing some Clan Arena here, which is a game type where you start out with all of the different weapons in your arsenal. And so you have to figure out how to use them in the most effective way possible. So you'll see me using the rocket launcher, or sometimes I'll use the rail gun or the lightning gun, depending on what the situation calls for. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this gameplay, and uh, if you do, don't forget that Quake Live is actually free. So all you have to do is go to QuakeLive.com and download their browser plugin, and uh, you can hop right into a game and send rockets to people's faces, just like that. So before I get into the Q&A section of the video uh, that we'll get to in a minute, um, I did want to briefly talk about one big news item from the week, and that is Valve's announcement that there will be a new Counter-Strike game coming, uh, it sounds like in early 2012, called Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now if you consider yourself a PC gamer, you have undoubtedly heard of Counter-Strike, and I'm sure many of you have played it. In fact, if you're like me, uh, you've probably spent countless hours on it, <laughs> like I did uh, throughout my middle school and high school years. So I'm definitely excited for this title, and uh, I thought it was really interesting that Valve brought in some of the top competitive players and uh, influential people in the competitive Counter-Strike community to really be the ones to deliver the first set of information about their new game. And so I like the direction that Valve is taking this new Counter-Strike title in making sure that it caters really well to the competitive esports community because recently I feel like you've seen uh, games like StarCraft and League of Legends become much more prominent in uh, the competitive scene whereas it used to be mostly first-person shooters like Quake and Counter-Strike. So I think that if Valve continues on the track they are right now about really listening to player feedback and trying to make this a title that the community wants to see, I really think they have a winner on their hands. And let's face it, as a general rule, Valve just doesn't put out bad games. And so I love that in addition to um, an action-packed list of titles like Battlefield 3 and Tribes Ascend and Diablo 3 and a lot of other games releasing soon that now we get to add a new Counter-Strike title to all of that. So uh, it really is an awesome time to be a PC gamer. And so next I'm going to answer some questions I got from my Twitter feed from you guys, but before I do, I've got a little Rocket 3 piece for you here. That is three rockets, three kills in uh, just a matter of seconds, and for my money it does not get much better than that. Uh, so anyway, on to the questions. Let's see, first up, Marcus12w, Nightright, and Grit Sauce on Twitter all asked, what do I do for a living? Uh, I work for a consulting firm doing IT consulting work, and so I travel a lot for work. I'm not normally at home during the week, uh, so I don't get to game much outside of the weekends. Um, but it's uh, it's fun work. I enjoy it, and I get to you know do work with computers, which is uh, obviously something I really enjoy. So whether it's for work or for pleasure, most of the time it's in front of a monitor. <laughs> uh, let's see, Drummer Kid 51 asked. What am I looking forward to most in Battlefield 3? And my basic answer would be the graphics. But more specifically than that, uh, I'm really looking forward to the new destruction effects that we're going to get with Frostbite 2. And uh, I've been really impressed with what I've seen so far, um, but I'm really hoping that DICE is going to flex the, the muscle of our powerful graphics cards with those new destruction effects. Uh, next, BusinessW asks, how many corn dogs would you say you consume in a year? And uh, the answer to that would be probably more than the average person, but not nearly as many as I would like. I would probably eat corn dogs every day if I could, um, but I'm looking to live past the age of 30, uh, so I don't I don't have them all the time. Uh, but it has been well established that I do love corn dogs. Uh, next, N. Henrik A. asked, uh, this is a good question, 
What is my opinion on the Wii U? Hopefully pushing the release dates of the Xbox 720 and the PS4, and how do I think that will affect PC titles? Uh, that's a great question, and I don't know exactly, but my opinion is it probably won't affect PC titles much, because uh, the development studios are still going to have to do sort of separate development tracks for the console titles and PC titles, because there's a whole different certification process and all of that uh, for the consoles that you don't have on the PC. Um, in addition, t once the consoles release, they're still going to be on somewhat outdated hardware when you compare it to current PC hardware. So. Um, I don't think a whole lot is going to change uh, in regards to the PC side of things. Next, uh, Ajax the Great asks, what got me into gaming and was I ever console only? Um, yeah, when I was younger I was pretty much console only. Uh, I was lucky to have a Sega CD and a Sega Genesis um, when I was growing up and so um, you know, I played Sonic and Battletoads and a lot of the like, classic Sega titles. And then I owned an N64 and a PlayStation and a PlayStation 2. Um, so I have a pretty pretty rich history with console gaming too. Um, but I mainly prefer PC gaming these days just because um, I really like first person shooters mostly. And uh, back when I gamed on console, most of the stuff I played was adventure games and side scrollers and, and things like that. So, um, so yeah, I, you know, I have a lot of love for the classic console stuff. Um, oh, that's a good segue into uh, this question from Tricky, uh, who asks, what is the first PC game that got me hooked on PC gaming? Um, that would have to be Doom 2. Back when I was in elementary school, uh, my dad had it on a computer at his office, and uh, I tried it, and I just I fell in love with it. And like I had the strategy guide and everything. Um, to this day, I can tell you, you know, a lot of the cheat codes for Doom 2 that I still remember. Um, now, the title that got me hooked on online PC gaming, uh, as I've said before, was Star Seas Tribes. I started playing that back when I had a dial-up connection, um, and once we got cable, like, that just changed my life. Um, and I played Tribes for several years, um, and then, you know, that got me into uh, other games like Medal of Honor and Counter-Strike, and, uh, you know, and the rest is history. Uh, so let's see, last question is from Sneaky as Shiite, and uh, he asked, how do I know a lot about computers, and do I have any tips for learning that field? Um, so a lot of what I know about computers is just because I've spent a lot of time around computers over the past, you know, 10 to 12 years of my life. Uh, but I would say there's a few things. First thing is, you know, read a lot about it. So I read a lot of different news sources, like Ars Technica and Maximum PC, uh, places like Tom's Hardware and Anantech are both really good resources. Um, you know, if you have computer problems, Google them and try to fix them yourself. Uh, maybe try custom building your next PC. Um, maybe try your hand at overclocking. Learn your BIOS. Learn the ins and outs of your hardware. Uh, customize your desktop. You know, trying and doing all of these types of things. Um, will help you to become tech support for your friends and family in no time. Anyway guys, I'm just about out of gameplay here, but I uh, appreciate all the questions I got, and uh, if you ever want to ask me a question, you can follow me on Twitter and tweet at me. I try to answer everything that's sent my way. Um, so you know what to do. If you like the video, hit that like button. It really helps me out. And uh, subscribe if you enjoy this stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed me bringing you something a little different with this Quake gameplay. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.